I would like to say about vapor compression refraction system. Nowadays, the refraction is a common thing which is used in domestic operations. So, it is our first kind of <coughs> topic in uh, mechanical point of view, vapor compression refraction system. So, first of all, what is refraction? So, refraction is a process which is maintaining and reducing the temperature below the atmosphere or surrounding temperature. Or other way, you can say it is the process of removal of heat from a body whose temperature below the surrounding temperature. So, in a vapor compression refrigeration system, in the old days, we use normally the air refrigeration system. Nowadays, refrigerant is used or adopted in vapor compression refrigeration system like 154A, R12, or in a old days, we use ammonia or sulfur dioxide or carbon monoxide. So, what is a vapor compression refrigeration system? In a vapor compression refrigeration system, the low pressure and temperature of vapor refrigerant from the evaporator is changed into high pressure temperature refrigerant in the compressor. Total the system is known as vapor compressor. Now I discuss about the uh, simple vapor compression refraction system. So the cementic diagram of a simple compression refraction system. The main parts of a simple compression refraction system is our first one is your compressor. Second one is your condenser. Third one is your receiver. Fourth one is your expansion valve. Or we can say throttle valve. Last one is your evaporator. So, simple upper compressor refrigeration system, there are two sides. One is your low pressure side, other is your high pressure side. The high pressure side is a compressor to condenser, and low pressure side in a, this is a fertile valve to evaporator. That is a, uh, in evaporator, a compressor <coughs> inlet. So, the low pressure, it is not the evaporator. So, in the evaporator, the low pressure temperature of vapor refrigerant, the low pressure temperature of vapor refrigerant come to the compressor. This is the inlet, compressor inlet, inlet A, this is the compressor outlet as inlet B. When the low pressure temperature refrigerant, vapor refrigerant come to the compressor at suction valve A, then the compressor compress the low pressure temperature of the vapor refrigerant. When we compress the temperature and pressure it automatically increases. Then it is will discharge to the condenser. When it discharge to the condenser, only the high pressure vapor come to the condenser. The main function of condenser is that which is condense the high pressure refrigerant. High pressure vapor refrigerant. The condenser consists of a coils of pipe. When it consists of a coils of pipe, then inside the pipe, the high pressure vapor refrigerant comes to the condenser. Then the condenser is condensed the high pressure vapor refrigerant. Then it gives a latent heat to the medium that is air or water. Then after condensed the liquid vapor mixer, after condensed the liquid vapor mixer that is high pressure is stored in stored into a receiver. When it is stored into receiver, then it comes to the expansion valve. 
and the fat is a liquid. The fat is a liquid is going to the expansion valve. Uh, the expansion valve is also known as refrigerant control valve. The main function of expansion valve is to control the high pressure liquid refrigerant at control rate due to reduce its temperature and pressure. At the reduced temperature and pressure, then it comes to the evaporator. Then it comes to the evaporator. And the entire portion of vapor refrigerant is vaporized. When the liquid refrigerant, low pressure liquid refrigerant comes to the evaporator. The evaporator is insulated here because evaporator maintains the temperature. So it is insulated. Evaporator is also known as your cooling chamber or you can say it is also known as your evaporator chamber. Okay? And this chamber, when the liquid refrigerant comes to the evaporator, then the low pressure liquid vapor, the low, low pressure liquid refrigerant comes to the evaporator, now it is changed into the low pressure vapor refrigerant. The liquid refrigerant, the vapor, the vapor, that is uh, the liquid, liquid vapor of the mixture comes to the evaporator and is changed into the vapor. That is, the evaporator absorbs latent heat of vaporization from the medium. That is air or even water or dry. And that evaporator is also maintain the low pressure vapor refrigerant. Then the low pressure for refrigerant again comes to the compressor. And here the liquid pressure goes. The main function of pressure goes is to reduce the pressure in control rate whether it comes to the compressor. This is the schematic diagram. Also, I am uh, telling all the parts of a uh, simple upper compressor of the system and telling about the different parts of compressor. And this simple upper compressor of the system is just in industrial purposes and a small domestic purposes uh, and it is widely used in uh, big industries also. So, this is also known as your simple upper compressor system. Why it is called? Because the low pressure, the low pressure temperature of vapor refrigerant is changed into high pressure temperature vapor refrigerant in the compressor. That's why it is called as simple vapor compressor liquid system. That's all. If you uh, like this uh, video about uh, simple vapor compressor liquid system, please, please share, like, comment, and subscribe. It. That's all. Thank you. Don't stop. 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 Don't st